Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the difference between pump and motor. The confusion is very obvious because both the machines are mechanical machine. So let's start this topic. The first difference between the pump and motor is that pump convert mechanical energy into hydraulic energy and the motor convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Pump taking as a input mechanical energy and producing a hydraulic energy converting the mechanical energy which taking as an input to the hydraulic energy but in case of motor motor is taking electrical energy as an input and converting it to a mechanical energy as a output the second difference between the pump and motor is that pump is a hydro mechanical machine but the motor is a electro mechanical machine why it's like so because pump is converting mechanical energy into hydraulic energy that is why it is called hydro mechanical machine the motor is converting electrical energy into mechanical energy that is why it is called electro mechanical machine the third difference between the pump and motor is that pump required prime mover to rotate but the motor required power supply either ac or dc but motor required power supply to rotate here might be you have question that what is prime mover we know in case of generator generator getting mechanical energy from the turbine and turbine is getting mechanical energy from natural sources like turbine is getting mechanical energy from tides their turbine is getting mechanical energy from the hydropower turbine is getting mechanical energy from the steam which is getting the energy from coal turbine is getting mechanical energy from wind from nuclear source from the solar from the geothermal from the biomass combustion so what we see the turbine is rotating by getting the energy from the natural source some are thermal some are non thermal thermal what does it mean by thermal means by getting the mechanical energy through steam through nuclear through geothermal then the source which giving the mechanical energy to the turbine is heated it's not at the atmospheric temperature so that kind of natural source is called thermal source for the turbine but some source like hydropower like other wind it's at the atmospheric temperature so these type of source natural source which giving the mechanical energy to the turbine is a non thermal source i hope you got the idea what is prime mover so pump is required prime mover to rotate itself but the motor required power supply to rotate the other difference between pump and motor is that pump is used to force the liquid and gases to move forward inside the pipeline or hose line by using suction or pressure or both meaning where the pump is used pump is used to make the fluid movement for making the fluid movement by using suction or pressure or together both but motor is used to rotate the connected load either in rotation or in the forward direction or backward direction means motor is used to rotate or move the load connected load but pump is used to move the fluids either it can be any oil or normal water or gas the pump is used to move the fluid by using suction pressure or both in a pipeline hope you understood the difference between these two now the other difference between pump and motor is that pump is classified into two type majorly one is centrifugal type another one is positive displacement type pumps motor is also divided into classified into two major section one is ac motor second one is dc motor the other difference between pump and motor is that motor is working on the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and it is the most convenient way to get the rotatory power by using the motor if you are going to get the rotatory power by the prime mover like by the using wind or by using combustion of coals to get steam it will be difficult but by getting the rotatory power through motor is the most convenient way that is why the pump always use as a prime mover motor in order to understand this concept let me give one example why we are using lights we are using lights fixtures to get light right we can get light by 
making fires to the wood or to any other combustible material but we, we are using bulb to get the light because electricity is the most convenient way to get the light without any haggle without any difficulties in same way other prime mover also give the rotatory power but the motor is the most convenient way to have the rotatory power just by switching on and off we can get the rotatory power through motor that is why the pump in 99.9 .9 time cases getting the rotatory power by the electrical motor so here we can say that the motor is working on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction but the pump is working on the mechanical energy conversion to the movement of fluids means motor is taking electrical energy to convert mechanical energy by using a principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction but pump is taking mechanical energy from the prime mover and converting into the movement of the fluid energy that is the hydraulic energy now let us move to the other difference that the pump is nothing without the driving force and motor is one of the source of the driving force so pump is nothing is useless without having a driving force but the motor is the source of the driving source if i will say in a very easy word then i will say this all together is a pump this part of the pump is a prime mover and this part of the pump is the impeller prime mover is giving mechanical energy to the impeller in order to create suction or pressure to deliver the fluid from inlet to outlet okay here the prime mover is a motor but in the pump in case of pump the prime mover can be anything it is not mandatory to be a motor as a source of the mechanical force for the pump impeller but as the electricity is the most convenient way to use that's why in 99.9 .9 cases the motor is used as a prime mover for the pump so when the motor and impellers are together coupled with each other then that arrangement is called pump but when the impeller is separate from the motor then this part will only call impeller and this part will call only as a motor and impeller will cannot do any work without using the motor that is the prime mover so hope you understood what is pump and what is motor when the motor and impeller are connected together then it will be called pump so let us see the application of pump and motor as a last difference between them pump is used where where we need to move the fluids from one place to another place with the pressure so pump is used in water treatment plant power paper mills car wash wherever the fluid is need to be moved with high speed with high velocity and where the motor is used motor is used in everywhere this is the best invention so far in the mankind motor is used in fans in compressor in conveyor in dishwasher, robotics, electrical vehicle, hoist, lift, lathe, vacuum cleaner, grinder and many more. Motors are used in the infinite places. I hope you find this video informative. If you really like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We will meet in any other informative video. Till then take care, keep learning and bye bye. Thank you so much.